today we are going to use and demo the flame photometer. I have the instrument and A with compressor. To use it, we will need standard solutions. I have solutions of sodium and potassium. For this, we will also need a gas cylinder. We will also need distilled water. We also need the accessories of the flame photometer. Everyone must read the user manual before using it. Now we will check the back connections, then connect the power supply. Now we will make the gas connection. You also have to do the same as I am doing. This is auto ignition, with the help of auto ignition we can light the gas flame. Now we will make the compressor connections. I have done it you also have to do the same. This is our gas connection, and this is the outlet connection from which the waste will go out. These are the chimneys of our flame photometer, you have to install them as well. Again, read the user manual carefully while using it. Now I have blank distilled water which I am going to use. For this, you have to keep it like this. You have to keep all the solutions and the blank in the same way as I am doing. Now the power supply has to be turned on, and our compressor has been switched on. Now we will set the compressor. You always have to keep the meter of the compressor between 0.4 to 0.6 using the air ball knob that means it should always be kept at 0.5. This is an important point for using the flame photometer. Now turn on the device. If you want to turn on the gas, you have to use the auto ignition in this manner by pressing it. Now turn on the gas, and you can adjust the gas with the help of this knob. Now press auto ignition. And you can see that our gas has started running in the flame photometer. You have to adjust the gas flame until it turns blue. You can see with the help of the knob that everything is ready and blue. Now we have to keep the flame photometer on for 15 minutes. Now we will set the setup for calibration. Press 2 for setup. Now we have to select I am selecting one here. Now I have to select the mode. I will select general because my solution is general type. To select, press 1 and enter. Now you do not want to choose this value, so press enter. Now you have to select your solution type or element. Here I select NA by pressing 1. Now I have to select the number of standard solutions I select 5. I have 5, so press enter. Now you have to select the values. You can select them as per your choice. Here I am selecting values as per my choice. To change the value, you can do it like this and press enter. And this is your setup, completed successfully.
Now for the next setup. Then you have to go to setup and select the setup number. Here I select 2. You have to enter the same from general and then press enter again. Then you have to select the element. I am setting up KCL, so I select K. Now I have to select the same number I am doing 5. Now you have to select the values. I am doing it according to my choice. After selecting, press enter. And this is our setup saved for calibration. Now we have to do calibration. Press 3 for calibration. Now we have saved the setup select 1 for sodium in setup. I have saved sodium in setup 1, press enter. Now we have been told to use blank, which means distilled water. I have everything ready. Press enter after blank appears. Now you have to take care that the value on the meter of the compressor does not change. Now we are being asked to give a solution of 100 ppm. Use a 100 ppm solution and press enter. You can wait the color of the flame has also changed. Calibration will be done after waiting for a while. Then you have to use blank and press enter. Now you have to bring a solution of 70 ppm, enter it, and wait. And this way we have done the calibration of 70 ppm. Again, use blank and enter. Now use the solution of 50 ppm and press enter. We have done the calibration of 50 ppm. Now again, use blank. Now use the solution of 20 ppm and press enter. And you can see that we have done the calibration of 20 ppm. Now again, use blank. After this is done, use the solution of 10 ppm and press enter. And we have done the calibration of 10 ppm. Now again, use blank. And remember, we have to use blank every time. And you can see that the calibration of our setup 1 has been completed. We will use the same process to calibrate setup 2 which we saved. Go to calibration mode and select your setup. Now you have to use blank. Now use the solution of 100 ppm and press enter. The calibration of 100 ppm has been done. Again, use blank. Now use the solution of 70 ppm and press enter. Our calibration of 70 ppm has also been done. Again, use blank. You have to repeat the same process with your standard solutions which you have saved in the setup.
Finally, use blank again. And you can see that the calibration of our setup 2 has also been done. Now we will check the solution after analysis. For analysis, press 1 and select setup. Now we have to select batch number and sample number, then press enter. You will get blank first you have to apply it and press enter. Then you can use the solution for testing. I am using 10 ppm solution first. You can see that the color of our flame has also changed. And you can see that our sample value has come, which is 9.5. Now to save this result by press enter. Now again, use blank. After it is done, use the solution. This time I am using 50 ppm. And you can see the result value has come, which is 48.4. You can see that according to the manual, 2% error may come. That's why our reading is a little different. Now we will analyze setup 2 for KCL, whose calibration is already done. Go to analysis and select setup. I will select 2. Then you have to give the batch number and sample number, and press enter. Then you have to use blank. After it is done, use the sample solution. I am using KCL 50 ppm for analysis. And you can see our sample value has come as 49.6. Now to save this result by press enter. Again, use blank. Then, after it is done, use the sample solution. This time I am using 30 ppm. And you can check that our value has come to 31. Again, use blank. After it is done, Use the solution. This time I am using 100 ppm. And now you can check that our value has come to 102. Again, use blank. After it is done, Use the 100 ppm solution again. And you can check that our value has again come to 102. By using a similar process, you can save your setup, calibration, and analysis of your sample solutions. For printing, you have to select 4 and go to print. Then go to sample and select setup.
batch number and sample number. And you can print from here. This is a very important point about the compressor. Whenever you use a flame photometer, you must always keep the meter between 0.4 to 0.6. The measure should be kept at 0.5. If it moves further, it will affect the value of the sample. To switch off the flame photometer. First, turn off the gas and wait for the flame to go out. Then turn off the gas nozzle. Then turn off the compressor. After that, turn off the main device. In this way, you can switch off your flame photometer properly. Now let us learn how to transfer the saved data from this device to a laptop or computer. For this, you will need software and a data cable. You have to connect the software with the laptop. Open the USB drive, and install the setup from the first file. You can see that our setup file has been downloaded. Now connect the data cable and open the software. You have to make the same settings in your software. Enter the data to transfer, and you can see that our data is being transferred. Again, select the data to transfer and press enter. And you can see that our data has been transferred successfully. To save data fly to click file and save as. You can also use your flame photometer in the same way I have shown you in this video by following all the steps. Thank you for watching.